Hi guys, Lucas here again and this is part 4 out of 4 where I'm going to show you how to optimize and uh, test your underwater uh, environment in uh, Unreal and I'm going to give you a link to a video where the Unreal Engine team is showing how to properly optimize your game so that will be in description. So this is uh, all of the effects that we added as you can see caustics are here, particles are here and the fog is turned on, post-process volume is turned on and all of these effects are eating a lot of the GPU processing power so I'm going to just note here that I was doing my tests on my AMD Radeon HD 6900 series and 8 core processor with Windows Service Pack uh, 7 with Service Pack 1. Now let's just start it in a standalone uh, environment. So this will load our game. So let's just minimize this editor, uh, let's just maximize this on full screen, swap it to camera one. So there is some commands, so I'm going to type stat uh, FPS and this will show me my FPS and as you can see I'm getting around 90 FPS which is 90 frames per second. So if you're aiming for 60 frames per second in your game and you will run this game uh, uh, on processor and a graphics card that I'm just running and you will be getting 90 FPS that is okay for your game. But as you can see my scene is not uh, full with uh, uh, props and uh, and so on so maybe you will be aiming for a little bit more FPS before you add all of your um, props and you add more and more effects. So I can just put another stat uh, unit graph which will show me my uh, how long it takes for my frame to render uh, how long it is uh, rendering the game so how long it's taken processor how long it's ta taken a GPU to do its job so as you can see my GPU is taking 11 milliseconds to render one frame and I'm getting about 90 frames per second with all of my effects where are the particles on the screen and everything which is not 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 bad if you're aiming for 60 frames per second so but what if we're uh, adding more and more effects and we need to take something of this underwater uh, environment effects uh, and it still will look as realistic as it can so what we can do to to do that so let's just uh, just add another command which is profile uh, GPU and this will turn on uh, a GPU profiler and this will show you nicely turn on GPU visual visualizer and shows you nicely what is actually happening with your GPU and uh, with your scene and as you can see I'm getting 13 milliseconds per frame and what is eating most is if I look at this I can see a 5 millisecond here so lights of course they're taking a lot of time but I see that my post processing is taking a lot of time 3 milliseconds I can just open this and go and dig deeper what is taking a lot of time for a post-processing. So let's just <coughs> look at what is eating a lot of time in my post-processing. Um, you can see depth of field is eating some time. This is depth of field. Uh, depth of field again. Uh, motion blur is taking a little bit. But from what I see here LED flares are taking some time as well. So from what I can see here is uh, that the depth of field is taking a lot of time and uh, another thing is that the lights are taking a lot of time and I already tested it so I know that the uh, caustics are eating a lot of time and uh, I can see that the translucency is taking some time but it, it is necessary because I have my water plane so let's just stop this, let's just escape this game go back to my Unreal Engine and let's just uh, see what is happening here so as you can see I have my blur on the post process turned on but it's only because I have this blurry effect on my volumetric lights but I don't really think when you're using fog you can s you can see a blur so if I go to my post process volume and I just look around my scene so that is the first optimization I would just do straight off I would just take the blur off and you don't see any difference and the uh, only difference you see is in your volumetric lights but it's not as bad so let's just 
start it now again with the uh, blur off. That is just the first thing that I took off. Uh, and what what can be gained just by turning off the blur? So let's just start it again. So again, I'm going to minimize this. Put this on a full screen. Turn on the camera one. I'm actually testing only one camera, so it's number one. So we're going to go start unit uh, graph. As you can see, I'm uh, going to also get my start start FPS. And as you can see, I'm already getting up to a hundred FPS from time to time so it saved about 10 frames pe per second just by turning off my blur and that doesn't even change my effects because they look exactly the same as they were looking before so let's just do one more thing uh, and profile this GPU again profile GPU so now as you can see my post processing is not taking as long as long as it was before let's just dig deep again let's find my post processing <laughs> so uh where is that Two, yeah and it's just went down by one millisecond which is a lot of in a graphics card measurements as you can see that's about 10 10 10 frame 10 frames per second as you can see there is no more depth of field here Again, there is uh, some motion blur and uh, stuff like that. But if you just keep optimizing post-process volume, you can save up to uh, 3 milliseconds, which is uh, now only 2 milliseconds because we already optimized for the depth of field. But so the second optimization I would just turn on straight on is... Uh, um, particles because they are really small and you don't really see them so I would just turn them off but let's just go one step further so I'm not just taking a, a, a too long to explain everything that is happening in the video uh, so I'm just going to also look at the lights and turn off the caustics if I'm going going to do more optimization at one step and you see the difference so let's just go <coughs> go and find my particles and let's just turn them all off Oops, and also my caustic slide is here. As you can see, I have light shafts here. So I would start with the light shafts because, to be honest, you can't really see them. You can just only see them when you are looking directly at the light. But if you turn them off, uh, and the light shafts bloom as well, it's it's still looking okay. You're still looking at quite good effect underwater. And if you want, you can just turn off entire light. But let's just let's just leave the caustics uh, and let's just turn off the particles and uh, and the uh, light shafts off now. So let's just play this and we see what we saved here. And minimize my editor. Maximize this camera one start FPS as you can see I'm getting another 10 frames per second I'm getting up to 110 frames per frames per second so I'm going to profile GPU and as you can see my lights are getting a little bit lower again this graph is adjusting as you're uh, taking this so it might be like post process looks like it's taking a bit more but it's because the lights are taking a bit less as you can see it's only 4.51 milliseconds and a uh, post process is 223 and uh, somewhere there were particles so particles uh, saved uh, some time as well there so that's another uh, 10 milliseconds saved if you need and uh, the, the look it's really really similar to what you started with so now if we go more drastical and we say okay uh, we, we need to save more than just that amount of time you can go to a caustic light and just disable it completely so disable the caustic light and then wavy screen as well it's really like a small effect you can see it's 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 really really small so we can just go to post process volume as well and disable that as well just delete them both here and now if I start it again it's it it doesn't look as good as it as it as it was looking before it doesn't look as realistic but uh, if you're 
happy with not realistic effect because you need to save some GPU cycles this looks still kind of okay so let's just play it and see how much we saved so again same stuff minimalize this and maximize this full screen one and let's just go start FPS and let's just see and we have we're getting up, up to 120 sometimes 130 FPS you might not see it in the video because the FPS is really really small but let's just turn on profile GPU and again as we can as you can see we just only get in a uh, 9 milliseconds to pass uh, for a graphic card the, the, the frame and now if I look at my post processing lights uh, post processing took only 2.209 milliseconds and if I find my lights they were really really down from like a 5 milliseconds to 0 0.70 so if I turn off my caustics that that saves a lot of time right there so let's just turn this off and let's just escape this turn this on so as you can see that is for a testing and optimization that's what you would do if you need to uh, create underwater effects and you need to uh, build it for a processor and a graphics card which are not as good as uh, as you would like them to be so I'm going to show you a graph uh, in my portfolio so if I bring my portfolio page right here so this is just some graph that I uh, when I was doing the testing it come up with a, as you can see when I just go with the post process volume and no blur I'm getting up to 140 frames per second and then as I'm adding more and more effects if I add blur it just drops down and this was three different cameras as you can see camera one camera two and camera three it was tested with the same uh, graphic card and a processor so whatever I was showing in the video I was getting maybe a little bit less FPS because I'm recording it so that's taking some processing power as well um, and then if I go down as you can see this is the visualizer I was using and if I go more down I can see the optimization table so what I would do if I would be optimizing this I would just first of all get rid of the blur and then I would get rid of the god rays and then I would probably get rid of the particles then I would probably get rid of the god rays and particles and then I would get rid of uh, acoustics as well if I will really really need to get the highest FPS I can so I might give you a link to this portfolio page where it's everything that I was working on and you just can scroll through it if you need to create a, a realistically looking underwater effect in an Unreal Engine so Thank you for your uh, listening and have a good day or night guys.